Hey guys, it's Friday, so that means it's time for Fun Fact Fridays, so let's fire it up. I'm back once again to break down some common music production lingo slash acronyms that you might hear but you're not that familiar with. So this video is more for beginners. So here we go. The fun fact for this Friday is about the frequency graph. Now last week I talked about common frequency designations, which is specific frequency ranges like low, highs, and mids. So today I'm gonna go over the basics of the frequency graph and a basic approach when EQing. Now, when you look at an EQ graph, reading it vertically, you see decibels. At the bottom is the lowest value and at the top is the highest value. These decibel values represent how loud something is on the graph. So the bigger the number, the louder it is. Now, horizontally, we're looking at the frequency range. So starting on the left is the lowest at 20 Hertz, which is where the bass frequencies live. And all the way to the right is the high frequency with the highest being 20 kilohertz or 20,000 Hertz. So the basic approach when EQing is you usually need to reduce or increase the volume of a certain frequency range. So you'll search vertically to find the range, then push up to increase the volume of that frequency range or pull down to reduce the volume of that frequency range. So that's the basics of the EQ graph and the basic thought process on EQ. Okay guys, that was the fun fact for this Friday. Thanks for watching and as always, you'll see me in the next video.